Closing the gaps on MRT trains will be a thing of the past if three students from Tomasic Polytechnic had their way. They've come up with a solution to bridge the platform gaps and prevent objects and feet from getting stuck. Valerie Tan with more. These 8-centimeter gaps have tripped and trapped about 10 passengers since 2005, according to SMRT. While we are traveling on the MRT, we notice that uh, there are people uh, who are disabled on wheelchair and uh, mothers with pram, uh, the wheels will actually get stuck in the gap. And so we decided that why not we do something to cover up the gap. So the group of third-year students spent several afternoons researching at MRT stations before coming up with this. The student's one-meter prototype costs about $1,200 to build and is designed to be attached to the bottom of train cabins. It's time to work in tandem with the opening and closing of train doors. It will raise automatically when the door is open and you will retract once the door is fully locked. Uh, we use about four months to build up everything, uh, plus research and staff. For their effort, the Land Transport Authority gave them the best project award of Tomasic Polytechnic in 2006. It's part of the annual LTA Polytechnic Collaboration, which recognizes the top five student projects in all polytechnics. And it will take a while before the project is implemented in reality, LTA says. It will have to consider several factors, such as durability and costs. More tests will also be conducted on a prototype before it's adopted. But now, LTA says the gaps will remain to minimize contact between the moving trains and the passengers standing on platforms. The United States needs to stay engaged across the Pacific to ensure the